Hello everyone, this is David McBee with the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Welcome to our game of the week for this week. We have Calico Rock coming on to take the Yellville Summit Lady Panthers right here on TLSN. So glad to have each and every one of you guys joining us. Early start tonight, 5 o'clock, no JV games. So we're off to an early start here on the TLSN. And Calico Rock wins the opening tip off. Drive to the inside, shot is up and in. Nice shot, that's Barker, number 10. Good play as Methan comes back the other way and two buckets back to back. And we're two to two. Yellville putting on a little bit of a press. Baseball pass thrown ahead. Calico's gonna have to hurry to get over the timeline. They just get across. As number 23, Elledge, setting up the offense for the Lady Pirates. They swing inside. It's knocked away from Gibson. Nice play there by Gibson. Here in the opening minutes, our first of two games here tonight on the TLSN. All those uh, Calico Rock fans tuning in, make sure you uh, hit that share button or tag a family member. That way they can watch this game live. Uh, we'll have Joey, the deal maker, Shaw. He'll be here in a little bit, so the camera work will improve later. Because right now I am the one man band. And turnover force there. So the Lady Panthers with Gibson and Methvin going to bring it up for Yellville. Of course, they got Decker, KJ Moore, also joined by Burroughs, number 10. They swing it to Methvin. Methvin stops, pops, three-pointers off the back of the rim. Good rebound there by Colbert for the Lady Pirates, but pass thrown out of bounds. Here in the opening minutes, of course, Joey's not here, so those watching on YouTube, let me know if the uh, sound and the volume is okay. As uh, I'm trying to work camera, scoreboard, and talk at the same time, so. Don't have our regular producer here as it's out of bounds. So Calico forces the turnover. Yellville looking like they're going to put on a press. Pass ahead, stolen by Methvin. Takes it in, misses the shot. Gibson battling for the board. And looks like it's going to be a jump ball. So possession arrow is going to go back to the Lady Panthers of Yellville. Here about a minute and a half into the opening quarter. Lob inside to Gibson. Gibson, nice move, gets the bucket. And Yellville now goes up four to two. Nice athletic play there by Gibson, knocks it out of bounds. Possession's gonna stay with Calico Rock. 619 left here in the first quarter. Again, Yellville looking like they're putting on a press. And there's a, the Lady Pirates subbing in. Subbing in a player. Again, pressure put on and good pass ahead. They beat the press. Three-point shot from outside is up off the front of the rim. Methvin gets the board. And now here comes number one, Abby Methvin, throws it ahead to Gibson. Beautiful play. As the Lady Panthers jump up six to two. As they're looking good offensively here. Gets another steal. There's Methvin over to Burroughs. Burroughs to KJ Moore trailing in. It's ripped away from her. Good play there by the Lady Pirates. And she steps on the line. It's like that's number two Thornton steps on the line. So now it's going to go back to the Lady Panthers. As Decker shoots it, misses it. Methvin. Battling for the rebound there with Stapleton. 
Looks like it's going to stay with Yellville. Of course, non-conference game tonight. Three-point shot. Beautiful shot there by Methvin. And now the Lady Panthers up 9-2. to two. Again, that pressure to making it difficult forces a turnover. Here in the opening minutes of our first game of the night, early start. Normally we don't start till about six o'clock, but we're already almost halfway through the first quarter. And our first of a double header, three pointer from outside is off from Gibson. Knocked out of bounds, gonna go, looks like it's off of Moore. Again, that's knocked off of Yellville, back to Calico Rock. Up ahead, it's stolen. Beautiful play. They get it to Gibson. Gibson takes it in, hits the bucket. And Yellville with 437 left in the first quarter. They're up 11 to 2 right here on the TLSN. We'll be back in just a minute. Back to action on the floor here. 4.37 left here in the first quarter as Yellville's jumped out to a quick 11-2 lead with some pressure defense. Three-point shot wide open from the outside is short. Here's Gibson with the rebound. Here goes Gibson and Methvin. Pass ahead to Methvin. Left-handed shot is good. Nice play there by Methvin. Now extends it to 13 to two. Yelbo looking good here in the opening minutes. Putting some pressure, forces a turnover. There's Gibson, takes it in, almost hits the shot, draws the foul. And that's gonna be our first foul of the game. At 4.04 left here in the first quarter. As Gibson's first free throw, nothing but net. Second free throw attempt coming here from Yellville. Off the back of the rim, Gibson though gets her own rebound. Swings it to Methvin for three. Off the back of the rim, there's KJ Moore battling for the board and puts it back up. Nice play by Moore. So now they jump up 16 to two. Ball is knocked out of bounds. Gonna stay with the Lady Pirates. Calico Rock got the first bucket of the game, but since then it's been a 16 to nothing run. Here by the Lady Panthers. Drive inside, partially blocked. They're gonna get more with the foul. In the act of shooting, so. And now free throw attempt coming for the Lady Pirates. First one off the back of the rim, long. Second free throw attempt is up. Rattles around and goes down. Nice shot. So there we go. It's right now. That ends the 16 to nothing run as Methvin takes it in. Ball's knocked out of bounds. I 
and thank everyone for joining us. This is game 249 that we've done here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. As Decker started to drive, brings it back out. Gibson stops, shoots. They give her plenty of room. Gets her own rebound, drives it in, hits the difficult shot. Beautiful play there by Gibson. And now pass stolen from Moore. Moore in the corner to Burrow, gets it in to Gibson. Gibson misses it. And now Gibson battling. And they say it's gonna stay with Calico Rock. 2.52 left here in the first quarter. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for joining us here today on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. If you haven't done it yet, subscribe to our Facebook page or and YouTube page. I mean, subscribe to our YouTube page and like our Facebook page. Make sure I get those right. As Calico Rock's going to slow it down and try to set up some offense. Just the defense from Yellville has not really given Calico Rock an opportunity. Good pass there. Three-point shot is off. There's Methvin. She is off to the races. She's got Gibson ahead. Methvin takes in the left hand, misses it. Gibson hits the ground hard, battling for the board. Foul's going to be on number 25. That's her first. Fortunately, we don't have a number 25 on our Calico Rock roster we were given. So, so here's Methvin. Tries to lob it into Gibson. Gibson double teamed. Nice pass to Gibson, wide open back door. We got a foul on the play there. So this is Gibson going to the line. Hits the first one. That extends it to 21 to three. Of course, this is our first game covering Calico Rock this year. We're glad to have all the Calico Rock fans joining us. Shot is up and in. It's the Lady Panthers again looking good here in this first quarter. It's been the opening bucket, and then after that, it's been all Lady Panthers. The pressure defense has kind of been the story of the game. Knocked out of bounds. Going to stay with the Lady Pirates. 152 left here in the first quarter. First of a doubleheader. We got senior boys action coming up right after this. Uh, Lady Pirates have had some good open opportunities from the three-point line, just unable to hit here in the first quarter. Drive to the inside. And going to be a foul. That's going to be on Gibson. That's her first. Pass inside, loose ball. Jump shot's up, no good her own rebound, takes it in. Nice play there by Thornton. Now pulls it to 22 to five. As they try to get it ahead, pass goes out of bounds. 125 left here in the first quarter. As fans starting to uh, come in through the door, it's a little sparse right now. I think it's the uh, early start here. A lot of people getting off work. So uh, these stands look like they're about to start filling up as the big crowd coming in the door. Now they go inside. Strong move, nice shot again by Thornton. Back-to-back -back buckets for her. It's 22 to seven, pressure on Methvin. Almost forces the turnover, there's Gibson. Pass underneath, wide open shot. 
And now it's 24 to 7. As we are under a minute left here in the first quarter. A little give and go, drive inside, shot is up, no good. But draws the foul with 34.1 seconds left here in the first. First free throw attempt here by Stapleton. She hits the first one. So Calico Rock looking like they're starting to get a little bit going here on offense. Second free throw attempt is up off the front of the rim. Loose ball as Methvin battles for it. It's going to be off of Yellville Summit. So ball's going to stay with Calico Rock with 31.7 seconds left here in this first quarter. There's a nice spin move. Bucket is up and good by Colbert. So Calico Rock looking a lot better here in this last couple minutes, trying to see if they can claw their way back. Over to Methvin for three. Shot off the back of the rim. Methvin's going to track down her own board. As Calico Rock now has pulled it back to 14. We're down 19. There's Gibson. Gibson, beautiful shot. It's a huge first quarter for Yellville, 27 points. As we go to the end of the one, and right now it's all Yellville, 27, Calico Rock, 10, here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network, guys. We'll be back in just a minute. All right, welcome back to the Twin Lakes Sports Network. So glad to have all of you guys joining us tonight here on YouTube. As a huge first quarter offensively for Yellville Summit at the end of one of 27 to 10. 27 points in the first quarter. And it looks like that's going to be an offensive foul against Calico Rock. So ball now to the Lady Panthers. Of course, a 35 second shot clock in effect tonight, but these teams have been putting it up quick. It has not even been a factor as Burroughs pass is stolen. As Decker almost gets the steal. It's gonna be out of bounds on Decker. Of course, I mentioned earlier, uh, this is game 249 we've done in the last five years. So nice athletic play there by Moore, but then they're gonna get more with the foul. That first, first play was a good defensive play, but then did commit the foul. That's gonna be Moore's second, fourth on the team here in the first quarter, or second quarter of action. As First free throw, rattles around and goes in. Second one, nothing but net. It's Calico Rock back within 15. 
as Decker with the nice move drives baseline, gets it to Burrow. Burrow over to Methvin, almost stolen. Methvin drives, kicks it over to Gibson. Gibson's going to stop, pop, shot off the backboards, no good. Strong rebound by Gibson, takes it in. Misses a shot and good rebound there by number 15, Stapleton. As they say, possession is going to stay with the Lady Panthers right now, up 15. There's more over to Gibson. Gibson thought about it. Back out to Decker. Gibson stops, shoots, wide open threes, no good. Yellville Summit's not scared to uh, shoot it from outside. So now it's a 15 point lead. Swing it inside, Gibson kicks it outside to Decker. Decker shoots it, shot is short. Loose ball, Gibson battling for it on the floor. Jump ball is going to go to the Lady Pirates. With 6.40 to go here in the fir or first half. Yellville got up 19. The Calico Rock now trying to work their way back here in this second quarter. As Gibson putting a lot of pressure. Calico Rock fans wanting a foul on Gibson on that play, but no call. Pass to the outside. Three seconds left on the shot clock. They're going to have to shoot it. And we actually have a shot clock violation. One of the few ones that we've had this year. As Methvin and Decker, they go back door. Gibson wide open. They say it's off Calico Raw. Good look there by Methvin. Methvin and Gibson working very well together here in this opening half. Again, Gibson, she is. Blocked on the play. And Gibson gets it back, loses it, diving on the floor as Good hustle there by Gibson, but it goes out of bounds. And with 5.36 left here in the first half, we got a timeout on the floor. 5.36 left here in the first half. It's Yellville 27, Calico Rock 12, right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. All right, now back to action. 5.36 left here in the second quarter as it is Yellville in firm control right now, up 15. This is a hot first quarter of shooting from the Lady Panthers. Got them up 15. As they swing it around, that goes off Burrow. Pass attempt for Gibson goes out of bounds. So now Calico Rock going to get the ball. Yellville had 27 points in the first quarter. Right now, though, at zero here in the second. As Calico Rock has uh, stepped up a little defensive intensity. Long way to go in this one. Our first of two. They try lobbing inside. Turnover. Going to go back to Yellville Summit. 
And now 27 to 12. There's Methvin, drives, kicks it over to Burrow, back to Decker. Decker thought about it. Now over to Gibson. Methvin's going to stop and shoot it and nails it. Nice shot there by Methvin. Of course, this is senior girls action right here. Senior boys come in immediately afterwards. No JV game, so the reason for the early start. Normally we don't come on until about 6 o'clock. As Methvin almost lost it, gets it back. They're going to get her with the carry. Now ball back to the Lady Pirates. 30 to 12 with 414 left here in the first half. In our first game here of 2023. Those fans tuning in from Calico Rock and from Yelva, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you subscribe to our fa or YouTube page. That way every time our game goes live, you'll get notification. Three point shots off. Knocked out of bounds. Burrow trying to get the rebound for Yelva Summit. Also follow our Facebook page as well. We always share on Facebook uh, our game of the week here in the Twin Lakes area. There's Methvin again. Beautiful shot from Methvin. Methvin having a big first half. Extends it now to 33 to 12. As Calico Raw gets it over. Collision on the play. They're going to call that on Decker. It's going to be her first. Uh, fifth on the team. Ball's knocked away. Swing around. Three-point shot. Again, no good. Good rebound. And the strong putback by Thornton. As Gibson drives in, kicks it to Decker in the corner. Decker's shot off. The pass ahead. It's a foot race. Ball's knocked loose. Three-point shot is good by Thornton. And that pulls it now back to a 16-point game. Then Methvin back the other way. Another three. Every time Calico Rock seems to be getting a little momentum, daggers being thrown from Yellville Summit from three-point range. Now ball's on the floor. Players all over as Gibson battling for it on the floor. Knocked out of bounds off of Yelvo. Going to stay with Calico Rock. As we're down to 219 left here in the first half. Looks like we got another timeout on the floor. So right now, Yelvo Summit in control two, with 219 to go. It's 36 17 here on the TLSN. Right, 219 left here in the first half. It's Calico Rock trying to inbound it. Ball knocked out of bounds off Methvin. Hey. 
Pass inside, that's nice pass and put back. Shot is off, loose ball. Nice play there by Moore with the block. That's the drive to the inside is no good. Here comes Burrow away with it. They throw it ahead, that's Moore. Takes it in, misses it, rebound, put back, and draws the foul. First free throw attempt is good. Second free throw attempt is also good. We're now 38-17. Ball's out of bounds. Off of Calico, so turnover forced here by the Lady Panthers as we are under two minutes. Drive to the inside, runner is up and good. Makes it 40 to 17. Almost stolen there by Gibson. But it's gonna stay with Calico Rock. Story of the game's been the pressure defense of uh, Yellville. Has made it a challenge for the Lady Pirates. Pass to the outside in the corner. Shot clock now down to seven seconds. They get it up, doesn't hit the rim. Methvin comes away with it. Pass ahead. A good defensive play, but nice save there to Gibson. In the corner, there's a three wide open. No good, Gibson skies, hits the shot and draws the foul. Beautiful play there by Gibson. As Yellville had kind of gone quiet in the first couple minutes of this second quarter, but now have put on a 42 here in the first half. And a chance for another one here with Gibson going to the line. And hits the free throw. Makes it 43-17. Swinging the ball around to the corner. Thought about it. Nice ball movement. Pass down low, knocked away. It's like stepped on the line. Fortin stepped on the line, so ball gonna go back now to Yellville. 32.8 seconds left, so basically last possession here of the first half. In a high scoring first half of action for Yellville up 26, I'm trying to add some more here as they're not gonna wait for the last shot. Methvin for three again, almost hits that one. Loose ball, comes back the other way. Is that Stapleton bringing it down for Calico Rock? There's a three point shot, no good. So Yellville's got his Gibson, here she goes. Two seconds, one second shot at the buzzer off the front of the rim. So at the end, we go to halftime. Right now it's Calico Rock 17, Yellville 43 here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. We'll be back in about eight minutes.
Right, guys, we're getting ready to go to the third quarter here. Yellville in control right now, 43 to 17. Getting ready to start the second half. First of two games tonight here in Yellville. We got senior boys action coming up immediately after this. Our first game here of 2023. And uh, the Lady Panthers with some offensive fireworks. In this first half with 43 points. As the Lady Panthers are going to have Methvin, Gibson, Decker, Burrow, and K.J. Moore in. As Decker over to Methvin, Methvin goes into Gibson. Back to Methvin. Shot is off. Loose ball on the floor. Calico Rock. Jumped out to a two to nothing lead in a, about a 20 to nothing run. Put Yellville ahead and they've been up this amount pretty much throughout. And a little nine to nothing run to end the first half. Pushed it to 26, largest lead of the night. As Stapleton gets it for Calico Rock with the spin move. Little runner off the back, no good. Here comes Gibson and the speedster. She's off to the races with Burrow. Burrow misses it. Gibson with the rebound and hits the difficult shot. As Gibson and Methvin just on fire tonight. Drive to the inside, shot is up, ball out of bounds. Looks like it's gonna stay with Calico Rock. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Shot is blocked and here comes Methvin, she explodes. Like it's going to be a layup drill for Abby Methvin. Hits it. And now it goes to a 30 point lead. on the floor as uh, Decker gets in there, wraps her up, and causes the turnover. So ball is going to go back to Yellville. Five forty-nine here in the third, and there's Methin wide open. This is it. Ball goes out of bounds. Pass inside, knocked away by Burrow. Here comes Decker, throws his ahead. Difficult shot, goes down, nice play. And now extends it to 32. Of course, this uh, Lady Panthers squad, a lot of them part of that state championship, uh, two-time state champion track team. And they're definitely got their running shoes on tonight. There's a three-pointer, loose ball, knocked out of bounds, gonna stay 
with Calico Rock. So, of course, if a team is ahead by 30, that would be a running clock here in the fourth. The screen tries to go inside. Swing around, three-point shot is up off the back of the rim. Turnover, nice play there by Calico Rock. Drive to the inside, shot is up. Partially blocked, draws the foul, and now will go to the line. As number 25 is going to go to the line, foul is on number 21 on Yellville. Almost halfway through here on the third quarter. First free throw is no good. Second free throw attempt coming. Battles around, no good. Gibson with the rebound. Here comes the Panthers just going through the defense, taking it in. Ball's knocked out of bounds. Going to stay with the Panthers. As uh, Methvin and Gibson and Moore all go to the sidelines, they're probably, that's probably going to be it, it for them for the night. Unless, uh, unless Sims brings them out here in the fourth for a little bit, but they now have 34, game well in hand. Strong performance to start off the 2023 season. 4.08 to go, and here comes Decker. Never thought about it. There's a three-point shot wide open, in and out. Good rebound there by Colbert. As Barker brings it down for the Lady, Pan or Lady Pirates. With 3.38 to go. Burrow is fouled, gets the rebound, tries to hit the shot. She's fouled. And Burrow's going to go the line. That's, that's the third on number 25. First free throw by Burrow, in and out. And here comes Burrow's second attempt. Off the front of the rim. Good ball movement over to Burrow. Burrow looks to take a baseline. Ball thrown away, so Calico Rock's going to force the turnover. Now we are under three minutes left. Looks like we got a timeout on the floor as it is Yellville Summit 51, Calico Rock 17 here in the third quarter here on the TLSN.
252 left here in the third. As Calico Rock has possession. Pass almost stolen. Nice spin move. Jump shot is up off the back of the rim. No good. Loose ball's on the floor as Burrow battling for it. Gets it ahead. Nice play. Bucket is good. By Yelville. Now third, up 36. Largest lead of the night. If Calico Rock's unable to get under 30, it will go to a running clock here in the fourth. Of course, hope everyone had happy holidays and a happy New Year's. First game of 2023. First up, we got six more nights of basketball to finish up the season. Now this is game number 41 and 42 that we've done this year. But more importantly, this is number 249. After this will be 250 games since the Twin Lakes Sports Network began. Pass is stolen. Pass ahead to Burrow. Left-handed shot up and good. Corey Shielville Summit playing in the uh, two-way conference this year. Same as last year. Uh, flipping has gone up to 3A, so there's not going to be any Yellville flipping conference battles. We're going to miss those games. Calico Rock, of course, plays in the 1A conference. And now up 40. Another steal there by Yellville. Good defensive play there by number 15, Stapleton, getting back. Knocks it out of bounds, stays with the Lady, Pan or Lady Panthers. Shot is up, no good. Three-point shot from outside is good by Stapleton. Nice shot. As we go under 30 seconds left, shot clock and game clock almost matching up perfect. There's another three-pointer from Yellville. Melville just hitting shots all night long. There's a three-pointer at the buzzer. So at the end of three, we're getting ready to go to the fourth. And it's going to be a mercy rule. So running clock. And right now it's Yellville 60, Calico Rock 20 here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. We'll be right back, guys. Here we go, fourth quarter, gonna be a quick one. Running clock here with the mercy rule. 
Calico's going to get the ball first as Elledge uh, gets an inbounds. Three-point shot from outside off the front of the rim. Loose ball. That's going to be off of Yellville. Going to stay with Calico Rock. Three-point shot from outside. Goes out of bounds. Going to stay with Calico Rock. Still 30 seconds left on the shot clock. Three-pointer from outside again. No good. There's rebound here by Yellville. And the Lady Panthers still pushing the pace. Now they're going to try to set up offensively. As we've probably seen the last of Methvin and Gibson, as uh, especially with conference games coming up, definitely want, probably wants to rest them as they had some huge nights in about two and a half quarters. it around three-point shot is up bank shot is good by Elledge as uh, with this game in hand gonna be a great opportunity for some other players to get an opportunity to play for Yelpville As we go down, about six minutes left here in the fourth. Good defensive play there by Stapleton as she walks it up for Calico Rock. Pass almost stolen. Three-pointer from outside. Shot's no good. Yelvo comes away with it, number 21. She is tied up, gonna be a jump ball. Possession arrow is going to go to the Lady Panthers. Lob back door. Nice pass. Good defensive play there by Calico Rock. Good play by Stapleton. Nice reaction. Gets the block. Of course, uh, we're not going to start a new stream. We're just going to keep this stream running. Uh, senior boys action will take place immediately after this. There's the lob inside. Now Yellville, 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Pass out of bounds. So turnover caused there by Lady Pirates is halfway through the fourth. For some big conference matchups coming up in the next few weeks, uh, right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Uh, Flippin, Cotter, a lot of other pretty big games. Bullet pass inside. There's Stapleton, unable to hit the shot. Here comes Yellville back the other way. Nice pass. Good move. Sh shot is no good, but she is fouled on the shot attempt. In with 4.04 left here in the fourth. First free throw attempt is up and good. And again, all those people tuning in, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page. That helps us out. Helps us to be able to bring these games free of charge. I know there's a lot of sites out there now. They'll charge you money. We're able to do it free of charge because you can get we get the subscribers and we get the local sponsors. So if you haven't done it yet, please hit that subscribe button. That helps us out quite a bit. Oh, nice crossover. Looking to take it coast to coast underneath. Draws the foul. And also, if uh, you haven't done it yet, subscribe to our Facebook page. We always list our game of the week, which uh, probably get that up tomorrow. Next week, we'll, it'll be on the 10th, our next game, a week from today. First free throws off the back of the rim. Let's 
Second free throw attempt. Rattles around, goes in. Long three pointer. Shot is off, out of bounds. Two thirty seven left here in the fourth. Which Calico Rock actually led for the first twenty seconds. I came down, hit a bucket, then Yellville came right back down and tied, and then after that it's been all Yellville. As they are looking primed and ready. Nice three point shot. Looks like that's number twenty three Elledge. Pass inside, loose ball, going to go out of bounds. There's a steal. Takes it all the way, misses it, rebound. Ball's knocked loose. Yellville's going to come away with it. Shot rattles around. Goes down. Three-pointer. And now down to almost the final minute. Drive to the inside. Shot. Like we got a foul on the play. Looks like foul's going to be on number 15. That's her first. As number 22, uh, Heyman Stapleton goes to the line. Hits the first one. Second free throw attempt. Shot is short. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to stay. It's going to stay with Calico Rock. 25 seconds to go. Pass is stolen. Loose ball. Steps on the line. Now Calico going to get it back as we go under 10 seconds. See if they get a final shot off. Seven, six, five, four, three. Almost hits the half-court shot, misses it, and that shot is no good either, but it was all Lady Panthers in our first game of a doubleheader tonight here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network as Yellville takes it 68-27 in our girls' matchup. Now we're going to step away for about, step away for probably about 10 minutes here, and when we come back, we're going to have senior boys action right here on the TLSN. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Right now they have a special presentation here with Cambry Gibson for scoring her 1,000th point. Congratulations, Cambry Gibson. And she also got her 200th career steal. So congratulations, Cambry Gibson. A little presenta extra presentation here. So uh, great job, congratulations. and. She's still got, you know, hey, she might be able to get to 2,000. We'll have to see what happens. She's got a ways to go. 
and what's already been a very exciting career for Camber Gibson here at Yellville Summit. Again, we're going to step away just for a couple minutes right here on the TLSN. Uh, we'll be back. Senior boys action coming up in about eight minutes.
Hey everyone, this is game number 250 here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Thank you each and every one of you guys for tuning in. As we got senior boys action, we got Joey the Dealmaker Shaw on camera, so the camera work's going to be much more outstanding than the camera work I had last game. Also, I think I've actually gotten a little more awake. I sounded like I was in a coma that first game. As Leighton with the spin move, hard shot, almost hits it. Good rebound there by number 44, Moody. And here come the Pirates. Senior boys, I know we're starting a little early tonight. Nice shot by Whitaker. Stop, pop, hits the shot, and Calico Rock scores first. Up two to nothing. I got a little more pep in my step because Joey's here. Everyone needs a Joey Shaw in their life. Swing around, three-pointer from outside. Nothing but net. As Yellville gets their first bucket of the game, as we're off to a quick start. Of course, no junior high action, so the girls game's already done. After this, we got six more nights of basketball and then sayonara for, until next fall. Shot is up, rattles around, goes down. Strong move there by Fountain. Yeah, with Joey, you might have heard him. He just said, yeah, going by, by fast. This is game number 42 this year. So we're gonna hit 50 games again this year, Joey. Kyder in the corner, hurt him for three, shot is off. Good rebound there by Whitaker. Drive, looks like we're gonna have a foul on the play during the shot attempt. It's gonna be on number 22, Purdom. That's his first, first foul of the game. First free throw attempt by number three, Russell. No good. Second free throw attempt is up. Off the back of the rim. Battle for the board. Calico comes away with it. Shot is long. They're going to get Russell with an over the back. Of course, the lineup right now for Yellville, they got number 11. Uh, that's Robert Howell. Number 12, Noah Layton. Number 22, uh, Trenton Purdom. Number five, Landon Kider. And number 23, Hunter Hickerson. Calco Rock gets a steal. Going to get the offensive foul there with the uh, elbow. As right now, it's four to three. Foul's going to be on number 33, Hiles. That's his first. Over to Hickerson, he thought about it. Of course, Layton had a big game. The last one we uh, called for them with 14 points over at the Billy Fly. So they go inside, there's Layton. He gets pushed in the back. Oh, they say he was fouled on the floor. No continuation. As I don't think Coach Hunter Sims likes that call. He thought that should have been a three point play. Kider inbound to Hickerson. Hickerson block, nice play there by 44 Moody. They go out to Layton. There's the steal on the play. Hiles takes it in, slices, dices, hits the shot. And Calico Rock goes up three. In the opening minutes here on the first quarter of our second of doubleheader action right here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. I want to remind you, if you're watching, you haven't done it yet, subscribe to our YouTube page. Three-point shot is up by Hal. No good. Moody gets the board. As we recently went over 5,000 combined followers on YouTube and Facebook. Nice play there by Hiles. Extends it now to a five-point lead. There's Layton. It's uh, DeRogier is in street clothes for the game tonight, so I don't know injury or looks like he's out. Oh, good play there as Howe has popped in the face. So I know uh, they're missing number three, David DeRogier.
And looks like the foul was on Moody. That's his first. Fourth on Calico Rock here as we're halfway through the first quarter. As Kyder not ready for the pass that came from Dillard. Dillard had a little bit of mustard on that one. As we just go under 420 left here in the first quarter. As they're going to get the offensive foul. We're going to call that on number two, Whitaker. As the Calico fans here not happy with that call. Of course, those people watching online, uh, make sure you comment. Let us know, are you cheering for the Panthers? Or are you cheering for the Pirates? This is an interactive broadcast. We'd love to read, uh, read your comments. As Dillard over to Hal, Hal to Kyder. It goes off of Dillard, out of bounds, off his knees. So a couple sloppy passes here in the first quarter. And here comes Whitaker for Calico Rock. Nice pass to the inside, strong move. Bucket goes out, here comes Dillard. Dillard is being hounded, good defense there. Nice defense by number 33, Hiles. They swing it to Hickerson. Shot is off, Kyder gets the board. Throws up the shot, no good, there's Fountain. Baseball pass a heavy, here comes Kyder out of nowhere. Knocks it out of bounds, saves a bucket. But right now, Yellville just struggling to get something going offensively. Shot no good, knocked out of bounds. That's going to be off Moody. Of course, we want to thank our sponsors uh, that you see there on the screen. Baxter Health, Mortgage Right, Vance Vision Clinic, Shark Creek Graphics, Marion County Farm Bureau, and Genuine Care Pharmacy. Our scoreboard sponsors, we couldn't do this without each and every one of you guys. Still got, uh, after tonight, six more nights, so that's 12 games. Uh, if you want to be a sponsor to finish out the season, just message us on Facebook. And the deal maker, he'll make a deal for you to finish the season. Shot is up. Rattles around, no good. Nice put back by Moody. Is uh, Calico Rock doing a good job on the offensive boards here in the first quarter? As Hickerson and Dillard on the outside along with Rayleigh. Number 21, Norberg is checked in for Yellville. That's a stolen. Nice move, doesn't hit the shot. And good follow through and finish by Russell. And Calico Rock looking good here. 155 left in the first quarter. It's 12 to three on the TLS. Back to action and already got a steal. Nice explosive move there by Hiles. Spin move by Layton draws the foul. As Yellville just trying to get something going offensively. Similar to the uh, girls game where 
a huge run by Yellville led to a big victory. Uh, as Yellville trying to get something going on offense, they're now down 10. Second free throw attempt by Layton. Rattles around and goes in. It's 14 to five. As they get it in the corner to Moody. Pass, nice play there. Just to save the ball, Whitaker. And then Hiles from three in the corner. As offensively, Calico Rock is rolling here in the first quarter. Leighton drives, they're gonna call an offensive foul. As number two, Whitaker steps in front. That's gonna be the first one on Leighton. As uh, normally about this time, Joey, we would just be starting the first game and we're already almost done with the first quarter. Three point shot from Stephen Curry range is off. As Dillard battling for it with Russell, they're gonna say it's off of Dillard. As uh, we'll be an early night tonight. Right inside Moody. Oh, good defensive play there by Rayleigh with the jump ball. Possession arrow stays with the Pirates. Three point shot again, not afraid to shoot that from outside. All right, here comes Dillard, he's got a man, he's got Layton. Layton explodes, partially blocked. Gets it over to Rayleigh. Now it's number 14, Ott, who's checked into the game. As they're gonna get Dillard with steps. So now the Pirates gonna get it back for a final possession here to finish off the first quarter. And uh, I want to thank all those Calico Rock fans tuning in tonight. Glad to have you joining us if it's your first time watching the Twin Lakes Sports Network. And of course our great fans over here at Yellville. Inside move by Moody as he trips over Norberg, hits the bucket. I'm sorry, that wasn't Moody. That was, uh, looks like that was number 24. That's Browning. So another bucket. So at the end of one, it's Calico Rock 19, Yellville 5 here on the TLSN. We'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, we're getting ready to start the second quarter here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. As uh, Calico Rock with a big first quarter. We got a long way to go in this one tonight here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Again, thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. They tried to lob it back door for Layton. Didn't get enough on that pass. Oh, nice look underneath. And there's Browning. There's Leighton, Kiter. Try to get in the corner to Purdom. 
is uh, number two, Riley Whitaker. He has been all over the floor hustling here in this first half. As Yellville just offensively have not gotten to a rhythm. As Layton drives, kicks it to the outside. There's Kiter. Shot clock to eight seconds. Drive baseline by Ott. And they're going to get him. He loses his fit footing. And with 7.10 to go here in the second quarter. 21 to 5. Calico Rocks had good ball movement. Finding the open man. There's another jump shot that's up. As Hiles definitely not afraid to go for the score. He's had a pretty good first half already. Here goes Ott, drives. They're going to get him with steps. So going to be a turnover now back to Calico Rock. Of course, big event coming up February 4th over in Harrison, Arkansas. Mid-States Wrestling will be back. Uh, tickets just went on sale, mswtickets.com. Three-pointer from the outside is off. Oh, nice pass underneath as Whitaker's wide open. As you can say, Calico Rock laying the smack down here in the opening minutes of this game. Here come Hiles. He's going to take on Layton. Up and under. Nice play. And Hunter Sims wants a timeout to talk it over. Right now it's Calico Rock 25, Yellville 5 right here on TLSN. Here we go, back to action on the floor. Big first half for Calico Rock. Right now they got 25. Yellville trying to get something going offensively as Howell is now checked back in the game for Yellville. They swing it. There's Howell. Hesitated, had the open shot. Should have took it, in my opinion. As ball is knocked out of bounds. But I got to give credit. The Pirates have shown a lot of recovery especially uh, defensively. Of course, Yellville playing out, playing, not playing with their one of their stars tonight, David DeRoger in street clothes. Not sure. Uh, looks like he's got an arm brace from here. I can't really tell, but he's out. As Hal trying to battle, there's a shot clock. Shot clock violation. So, yeah, haven't seen it all year until tonight. We saw a couple times in the girls' game and now here in the boys. As a, they're continuing to just take it inside and get it to the lefty. Here comes Kiter with the spin move. He's surrounded by five players, kicks it out. Shot by Hickerson is off. There's Howe, gets the steal. Purdom takes it up and is fouled. Good hustle play by number 22, Trenton Purdom. First free throw by Purdom is off.
first game of 2023 here on TLSN is Howe battles for the board. Nice play by Robert Howe. And let's see if the uh, Panthers can make him pay. Getting a second opportunity. Hesitation, here comes Layton. Layton gets over to Hickerson. Over in the corner, there's Kyder for three. Shots off Purdom with another offensive board. Now Layton takes it in. They're gonna call an offensive foul is the call on Layton. As uh, Coach Hunter Sims didn't like that call. He's talking to the ref. That's two now on Layton. Three fouls on Yellville. As we're almost halfway through the second quarter. Bullet pass down low. Bucket is good by Whitaker. Stins it now, it's 27-5. As Hickerson for three. Shot is short, there's Layton with the rebound. He's battling for it, it goes out. As uh, Coach Hunter Sims actually rotates out five more guys, five guys, you don't see that often. It's like his entire starting lineup, he's pulled. So he's got uh, Teal that's checked in, Norberg, also Ott, Dillard, and number 10, that's Rayleigh. Nice little hesitation shot by Whitaker. Spins it now, 29-5. Here goes Rayleigh. Rayleigh is fouled, trying to take it in. As Joey... Uh, I know Joe doesn't have a headset on because our soundboard's actually off getting repaired right now, but this is game number 250 as Rayleigh hits that. So 250 games, Joey, in less than five years. So through COVID, through a lot of things. We've made it. There's the steal as Ott comes away with it. Now Yellville just trying to get something going here in this last minute or two. You know, down 22. would love to see him try to get it to like 15 by halftime. Over to Dillard. Dillard for three. Shot is off. Moody gets the board. As it looks like we got a timeout on the floor as they want to talk it over. 3.11 left here in the second quarter, and it's all Calico Rock 29-7 here on the TLSM. Three eleven left here in the second quarter. It's Calico Rock currently up twenty-two. Looks like they're going to get a jump ball as the call, so it's going to stay. Going to stay with Calico Rock. As they're trying to go inside and they're going to call Teal with the uh, reach. As Joey's trying to untangle the wild and crazy mess from... Uh, I literally got here, guys, at like 4.55. And, uh, you know, the clock said five minutes left. And I got everything up by the time for tip-off. 
So the cords, Joey, he likes everything neat. This is not neat. It's a mess back here. As they call the foul, as uh, Whitaker takes it inside. We we're going to call that on Dillard. That's his first. Yeah, we'll have to do some untangling at halftime. Yeah, well, when I was doing the camera, I was really tight. I was just. First free throw is good, extends it to 30 to seven. Shot off the back of the rims, no good. Rebound there by Moody, takes it in strong. Nice play by Dillard. As looks like they're gonna call that on Norberg. That's gonna be his first. So 30 to seven, 232 to go. Three point from way downtown's off. Loose ball gets it back. Here comes Yellville. Norberg gets it ahead to Rayleigh. Rayleigh with the layup, hits the shot. Tough shot. Now Yellville pulls back within 21. They're trying to see if they can claw their way back as Norberg gets the steal. There's Rayleigh, misses the shot. And we got a foul. They're gonna call that on 10, that's on Rayleigh. And actually it's gonna be a technical foul. So Rayleigh must have said something. So technical foul, so a couple shots coming up here. First free throw attempt is good. By Whitaker, he's gonna get another one. As Rayleigh now coming out of the game, so technical foul there. And now Whitaker goes to the line. And second one goes in. And now Calico's gonna get the ball. With 2.08 to go. As Kyder went for the steal. Hiles stops with the fadeaway. Nice shot by Hiles. They try to get it in Norberg. It's not there. There's Kyder. Norberg, Dillard. He shoots it. Shots off. Ott gets the rebound. Whitaker hits the floor hard. Drive to the inside by Dillard. Gets the score. Now it's 35-11 as Hiles lands in the bench of Yellville as Calico Rock playing hard up 24. 132 to go as Dillard. Goes back door, tries to get to Ott, but Moody has no problem getting that. As Whitaker takes it in, makes a lot of contact, and jump ball is the call. As uh, Calico fans wanting the foul. As Norberg comes out of the game, so Purdom's checked back in with 112. Yellville's got the ball. Swing around, Kyder tries to get it into Purdom. Ball is kicked out. Get it to Ott. Ott loses it. And here comes Calico of 24. And trying to see if they can get it a little bit more. 
Give and go to Whitaker, nice pass. Kyder gets in front, ball's on the floor, guys all over the place. As Kyder gets the steal. Kyder with the spin move, beautiful move by Kyder, unable to finish. Moody gets it. As this uh, game's kind of breaking down and looking like a youth center game. As Coach Hunter Sims did not like that call and he just got technical. That's the second technical on Yellville. As Coach Hunter Sims not happy with that call and he let the ref know about it. And now they're telling uh, Coach Sims to sit on the bench as Whitaker's gonna go to the line. And so a chance to get a couple more points for Whitaker. And now also going to retain possession. Shot clock's turned off for this to be final possession here in the first half as they're going to get the reach in by Kyder. That's going to be nine. So now Calico's going to go back to the line. Hiles hits the first one. And now second attempt. 37 to 11, second one's up. No good, there's Hickerson with the board. And now they're gonna try to get a shot off, 10 seconds, here comes Layton. They're gonna have to hurry, five seconds. Shot by Hickerson is up, in and out. Heard him battling for it and that will do it for a uh, wild first half. And that, we go to half right now though, it's all Calico Rock 37, Yellville 11 here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Uh, we'll be back in about 10 minutes here on TLSN.
All right, guys, we're getting ready to start the third quarter here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. Again, thank you, everyone, for joining us. First half, multiple technical fouls, and Calico Rock just offensively has been on a roll. As here we go, we're starting the third. Calico is going to get the ball to start off as as the last couple minutes, some really sloppy play um, from both teams. Uh, as <laughs> the ball was just all over the floor. It turned more into like a street game. It's like they're going to get Hal with. Or, uh, sorry, the foul's actually going to be on Moody. That's his second. But. Calico Rock has led throughout as Kyder brings it down for Yellville. There's Kyder, Layton, Hickerson, Erdem, and Howe. As when you're down 26, just, just need to try to get on a little, little spurt to try to climb back in. And here comes Whitaker, kicks it to the outside. Of course, in order to be a mercy roll, it's got to be 30 points. And now it's 26. As Hiles throws the, a missile there. They say it's off of Yellville. As Rayleigh and uh, Coach Hunter Sims with uh, both had technicals, of course, any more technicals would lead to an ejection. Hiles with the bank shot. Pass goes out of bounds. As Aiden Otto online, we asked him earlier, who are you going for? He says he's going for Calico. This is our final game of the night. We did get an early start. Senior girls have already played as Yellville Summit cruised to a big victory there. And here comes Hiles, Howe, and Kiter all racing down the court. And Hiles is going to get the bucket. Now they've hit that 30-point threshold. It's stolen again. Here comes Whitaker. He's going to slow it down. As Moody gets it in the corner, wide open three. And that's going to be money from Landon Russell. Now, largest lead of the night 33 points. Yellow only with 11 points. For two and a half quarters. There's Purdom. And now Yellow just unable to buy a bucket tonight. As ball is kicked out of bounds. Going to stay with Calico. Pass inside. Easy bucket for Fountain. So game number 250, not as competitive as we would have liked, but hard foul. Layton hits the floor hard. Foul's going to be on the floor. Call that on Fountain, his third. Bob inside. There's Layton. Strong move. Couldn't get out from under. Here comes Hiles. As takes it to the hole. I thought maybe he might have tried to put that one down. He was thinking about it. As Hickerson over to Purdom. Purdom for three. Hits it. Nice shot by Purdom. As Hiles. No hesitation. Good rebound. Loose ball, Yellow's gonna come away with it. As here comes Layton and Hickerson. A 
get it over to Hal. Hal for way downtown. Shots in and out. Here comes Hiles. Goes in hard and hits the shot. It's almost stolen. A lot of contact there. No call. Nice move by Layton inside. Hits the bucket. As number 12, Noah Layton, he's still playing hard. And here comes Moody. Puts it on the floor. Nice play by Purdom. Forces the jump ball. As Sims going to sub in a fresh five. For Yellville, 3.37 to go. And again, all those fans that are tuning in, if you haven't done it yet, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and subscribe on our YouTube page. We just went over 700 viewers, I mean, subscribers on YouTube. We're trying to get to 1,000. And right now we're... About 4,300 followers on Facebook. You can follow us on Facebook as well. As Dillard and Whitaker, killer crossover by Whitaker. Runner hits the shot. With a crossover that would make Tim Hardaway proud. That's probably a dated reference for those uh, younger people watching. Now there's Rayleigh, gets the steal. Pass up, under, shot is no good. Moody gets the board. As that was number 20, River Hill, with the shot attempt. Small lineup in here for Yellville compared to Norfolk, I mean, compared to Calico. There's Whitaker with a nice ball fake. And the little runner, he has just had a huge night. And Yellville's going to need a couple buckets here. They need an 8-0 run just to avoid a mercy rule in the fourth quarter. Right now, 2.07 left here on the TLSN. It's Calico 54, Yellville 16. Right now, 38-point lead for Calico Rock. 2.07 to go. Of course, if a team leads by 30 in the fourth, the start of the fourth, they will run, uh, the shot clock will run with the mercy rule. Nice play by number 20. That's River Hill. As Yelvo just trying to see if they can Keep it below 30, they force the turnover. And Diller takes it in, hits the ground hard. Looks like foul's gonna be on number 33, that's on Hiles, his second. Of course, I didn't realize for tonight's game, I, I, when I pick my clothes outfit for each game, I usually always, I mean, when I pick my clothes out, I just pick what's next in the closet. I didn't realize when I picked orange and black for my pants today, I'm wearing my dress clothes. I didn't realize that is the Calico Rock colors. And I went down to get a drink for me and Joey the deal maker. And uh, I got harassed a little bit. I'm like, what in the world are you doing wearing their colors? So I was like, hey, I love all schools. So. But uh, they almost didn't give me those drinks. 
So they thought I was actually a Calico fan. I had to say I'm with the TLSN. It's stolen by Rayleigh, gets it ahead to Dillard. Here comes Hiles, goes for the block, but Dillard with the good move. And now they've got it down to 32, so they're trying to keep from getting mercy ruled. And uh, the Calico coach not happy with the last couple possessions. He's up 32, but he calls timeout. 118 left here in the third, and it's Calico Rock up 32. All right, 118 left here in the fourth. And it is 32 point lead, but Yellville getting a couple buckets as they're trying to avoid a uh, mercy rule here. Oh, big time blocked there by Dillard. Rebound put back, rolls around, doesn't go in. And here comes Ott. Because Yellville just needs three more points to avoid the mercy rule. And there's Dillard, shot is short. Punched away as Yellville, this group's playing, at least they're playing, they're playing hard. They're down 32, but they're still giving it their all. As uh, Hunter Sims teams always do. Three point shot from Hiles, beautiful shot. Now back to 35. Under 30 seconds. They get the steal again. Over to Hiles. Hiles again. Same spot. That one's long. Tries to pass it ahead to Dillard. Almost stolen. 11.4 seconds left. They get it to Norberg. Norberg misses a shot. Calico going to come away with it. Five seconds left. They're going to have to move to get a shot off. Hiles, he's going to take this from half court. It's up. And it's no good. But another big quarter for Calico Rock. And we go to the fourth. And it's Calico Rock, 57, Yellville, 22, here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. All right, here we go, final quarter. It's gonna be a running clock here in the fourth with Calico up 35. Big night for Whitaker who has the ball right now. Pass underneath, shot is no good. And Yellow comes away with it. It's that's number 14, Ott. As Ply tried to get it down low, pass out of bounds.
Yeah, clock was froze there. The fans was letting him know it's a mercy rule. I think uh, it's like foul is going to be on number two. That's on Tristan Teal, his second. Hiles with the uh, runner from the free throw line. Nice shot. As Dillard takes it in on Hiles. Ball is punched away, stolen. Oh, here comes Hiles. He goes one-on-one -on -one with Teal. And he is a hard foul, hard elbow in the back from Teal. As uh, Calico fans not happy with that foul. Hiles misses the first one. So for some reason, the year of the blowout here on Twin Lakes Sports Network continues. We've had about 75% of our games this year be mercy rule games. And uh, that trend's continuing tonight. Both of these games have been mercy games. Uh, we're going to be done by, before 7.30. Pass by Whitaker out of bounds. As Whitaker checks out of the game, big game for Whitaker. As number 33, uh, Heil stays in. He's had a big game as well. Pass is stolen. Bucket is good by Hiles. Drives the lane, hits the shot. As odd sets up, also has number 50, Cody Martin, that's checked into the game. Looks like they're going to call that number 11, Stapleton. Now number 32, uh, Memphis Gibson coming in the game. And also number four, Joseph Reed for Calico. Is uh, no call, but that was a definite foul uh, that wasn't called. And now Calico comes the other way, loose ball. As that's number 32 Gibson who gets the rebound. Drive to the inside, shot's no good. Stapleton gets the board. And now going to walk it down. As uh, Hiles is now checked out of the game. Also big game between Hiles and Whitaker tonight. Oh, beautiful pass there. And the bucket is good by Cheryl. Loose ball as it is. Got back by Teal. Teal playing hard still. They go to Martin, number 50. He is blocked. As they're going to get uh, Reed with steps. As the clock goes under, three minutes left here in the final quarter. Of course, tonight I know other action. They got Flippin and Elkins. They're playing over in Bobcat country. Three-point shot is up. It's off. And then our next game, no more games this week. We'll be back again next Tuesday. Tuesday night is just TLSN night. So you just need to mark, you know, Tuesday night T TLSN Thunder. Pass inside. Bucket is good. Trying to see the number on that. Double zero. 
Uh, that must be Blake Rasmussen because we don't have a double zero on our roster, so I'm going to guess that's him. As going to get steps there right now. 66-22, two minutes to go. Teal to inbound it for Yellville. Shot is up, in and out. Martin gets the board, and it's pulled away. Here comes Stapleton. Hard move to the inside. Nice play there by Rasmussen. Now almost identical to the girls' score, but the other way, so... Yellville Summit girls are going to get a Mercy Rule win, and Calico Rock senior boys are going to get a Mercy Rule win tonight. His ball's back to Calico as the clock winds down. But again, I want to thank everyone tuning in tonight. Our 250th game on TLSN, which wish it would have been a uh, barn burner, but there are a lot of barn, barn burners we've done over the years. You can always go through our archives on YouTube, you can watch our games back to 2018. If you want to see a game that might be a little bit closer. As y'all will see if they can try to get another bucket. Ball's knocked out of bounds. Martin, as they swing it around. Shot from the corner, no good. As again, Calico gets the boards. 68-22. Hard move to the inside. A little hook shot is good. So that will do it as we're down to 15 seconds. Yelva's gonna see if they can get one more bucket. Or Calico gets it, they got it with five seconds left. Ball's all over the floor. Yellow's going to try to shoot it. Not going to be able to get a shot off. And Calico Rock cruises here in our senior boys game of the night. They take it 70 to 22 here on the Twin Lakes Sports Network. I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in today. And uh, be sure to tune in. Go to our Facebook page and you'll have our next game next Tuesday night. We'll post that right here on our Facebook page. And uh, but again, all you guys have a great week for David McBee and for Joey, the dealmaker Shaw. Go out and do something nice for someone. Remember, your tomorrows are never guaranteed. Have a great week from the TLSN.